We begin the bulletin with a voice from Catholic bishops on election matters. And tonight, the bishops are urging the Independent and Electoral Boundaries Commission to urgently clean up the voter register as required by law to maintain transparency and credibility of the August 8th polls. According to Reverend Martin Kivova, the chair of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, pro-IABC preparedness means high risk to the country, as Raquel Mwegai reports. <laughs> Almost two months to the 2022 general election and a section of religious leaders are questioning the country's electoral body preparedness to handle the August polls. In a statement issued to newsrooms, Reverend Martin Kivova, the chair of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, states, and I quote, The elections we are about to conduct in under two months mean nothing if every vote does not count. We know from experiences that poor IBC preparedness means high risk to our country. We propose that. It is upon this background that the Catholic bishops have asked the independent and electoral Boundaries Commission to engage urgently in the cleaning up of the voters' register as required by law to ensure that only legitimate voters turn up to vote. Additionally, IABC should make greater efforts to assure voters with great transparency arrangements regarding the voting process from the printing of ballots, transporting them to the polling centres, opening them before party agents, counting of votes and the whole process of transmitting results. Moreover, it should conduct effective civic and voter education given the time constraint. On Thursday, the IABC conducted a simulation exercise of the transmission of election results at the Bomas of Kenya that revealed challenges in the transmission system, which the electoral body attributes to mobile and internet connectivity challenges. According to IABC, the Communications Authority has advised them that 1,111 polling stations lack the connectivity. In 2017, more than 11,000 polling centres had been flagged as lacking the same with presiding officers forced to move in search of network. As a commission, we do not have our own connectivity. We rely on the national connectivity and the service prov providers we use. And therefore, we will be at the sympathy of the available connectivity for us to process the results. On matters voters register, the commission had been expected to publish a certified register by the 9th of this month. However, a report by the audit from KPMG could see up to 1 million registered voters deactivated. In the report, 246,465 voters were found to have since died, requiring deactivation. Over 481,000 records of voters are duplicate, meaning they are appearing multiple times. Over 226,000 persons registered with documents not belonging to them, while another 164,000 registered with documents that are invalid. We've also noted um, a few other control gaps um, from the review of the um, voter registration processes, uh, the underlying systems on which the register of voters is hosted, um, which will require some rectification as well in readiness for the election. IBC is expected to implement the KPMG recommendations before a relook by the audit firm that should issue a final report by the 16th of June. Before having the final publication of the register on the 20th, voters and vying candidates expecting that this and other issues are sorted in due time before the general election. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.